Hello friends, it is Monday, April 27th, and I hope you all had a great weekend. Hopefully you were able to tune in to the worship service yesterday to hear some great music from Kathy and Fran. Thank you to both of you. A great message from Pastor Dave. Thank you to you, Pastor Dave. And a thank you to Bob Hoglum for his uh, technical skills that were on display once again. Uh, it looks like he even incorporated a drone to get some footage. Uh, so, Bob, we thank you for all you're doing and the ways you're innovating with that. Uh, we're so blessed by you as well. <clears throat> so, again, we finally have reached the last week of April. I don't know about you, but it seems like this month has had like 200 days. Uh, and it's been a long month. Uh, it seems like so long since the uh, stay-at-home order was given back on March 23rd. And uh, then we, we entered into this season of staying at home and social distancing and amidst this whole pandemic. And so uh, if you're like me, I think we're glad to be at the end of April and hoping for uh, a brighter May ahead. Um, it's uh, We don't know yet if next Monday the 4th, if indeed the stay-at-home order will be lifted or if it will be extended or partially extended or in some capacity. We don't know. There's still some uncertainty around that. But um, what we do know is uh, that we're, we're about ready to enter another month, and I, I think we're all just eager to get back to some semblance of normalcy. Um, as we think about this, this month, as I reflect on it, it's been a challenging month in many ways. Obviously, a, a huge challenge for us has been for Marissa and me balancing work, even though we're grateful to still have our jobs, um, but also trying to balance that with homeschooling our kids. Uh, we've been blessed by Three Rivers Christian School, who for our boys, they just, they really didn't miss a beat and uh, transitioned right into online learning, but still challenging to manage work and then trying to help our kids with their schooling as well. Um, and I'm sure many of you have had a lot of challenges as well. Um, if you've been home uh, with a spouse or family, perhaps you've been dealing with those kinds of things with work or school issues and challenges. Uh, if you've been by yourself, uh, that's a whole other kind of challenge of being isolated. And so um, you can really relate to, to the challenges of this past month as well in a unique way. Amidst all of this, though, there's definitely been a silver lining for us. Uh, Marissa and I have, just, have both commented on the incredible amount of quality family time that we've been able to enjoy which has been a huge blessing. We always try to carve out time for family meals and uh, time together, but it's just been heightened. We've had so much more time to eat together as a family, to play games, to, to play outside, <clears throat> to watch movies. We've been watching a bunch of the old classic Disney movies that our kids haven't seen yet. So that's been fun for us to relive all of those that we haven't seen for years. So just all these blessings amidst this. I hope that's been true for you as well. If you're home with a spouse or other loved ones. And again, if you're on your own, if you're an introvert, maybe this has been a wonderful time for you. Uh, you're really recharged. Uh, if you're an extrovert, you're probably chomping at the bit to get back into some human interaction. But regardless, I, I know there have been challenges in this month, uh, and yet we've made it through it. We're almost to the end here. Uh, more than anything, what I know Pastor Dave and I hope is that in this month of isolation, of staying at home, of social distancing, we hope and pray that you've really found some time to be with the Lord, that you've been able to kind of inst inst instill, there's the word, <laughs> instill in yourself some great habits, some great spiritual habits of spending time daily with the Lord in prayer, in worship, in his word. Uh, we just hope that you've really been able to do that. So that's been my hope with these videos, is that they've helped you in that, and especially maybe with worshiping and being in the word a bit. And I know Pastor Dave, with his words of encouragement, things he's been sending out, I'm sure have helped you as well. In addition to our sermons, we, we hope that those have been encouraging to you as well. So as I look to the end of this month, um, I had committed in a the beginning of April to send out a video like this every day, <clears throat> along with a song. And then I scaled it back a little bit to be Monday through Friday, uh, which I just felt like that was a little more manageable for me. And I'm glad I've been able to do it, aside from that one day I took off. But uh, so I'm going to do that. The next four days here, we have four more days in this month. And then as we move into May, I don't know. I probably won't be doing the song each time that I do one of these. I'll probably still do the 
Monday through Friday, Friday video, but they'll probably be shorter. Just a little word of encouragement, maybe on a scripture or just sharing a reflection, something like that. Um, as far as the songs go, I'm, I think my voice is ready for a break. You're probably ready for a break from my voice. So, you know, it's a win-win for both of us. Uh, but uh, kind of like the words of encouragement Pastor Dave has been sending out and with lifting up a scripture, I'll probably do something like that, but in video form moving forward until we're able to get back together again as a full gathered church. So, uh, but yeah, for the next few days, I definitely want to uh, honor my commitment and lift up a few more videos with songs. Um, so as I was saying about this last week or this final week of the month, I really want to focus and kind of drive home and reinforce that God is our constant helper, that he is the one from whom our help comes, that uh, with all this uncertainty, with all this fear and worry and, and all these things going on, that we can trust in God, we can cling to him, that he is our helper, he is our savior, all those themes. I know those have start, um, kind of popped up in a lot of the videos and scriptures and songs that I've done already, but this week I just really want to drive that home and reinforce it. So I'm going to pick songs for these next four days that really drive home that theme and scriptures as well. So for today, I just want to read Psalm 121. I'm sure it's a really familiar psalm to many of you, but it really just drives home this height, this whole idea of the Lord is our helper. And I love this whole idea that you'll hear and hear about. He never slumbers nor sleeps. <laughs> that God is constant in his control and his power in his authority. So here are these words from Psalm 121. I lift, up, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. I think that is a great word for us today. But just I love how that song begins. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Uh, from where does my help come? We lift our eyes up. We lift them up to the Lord. And we just, it's that rhetorical question. We already know the answer to it. From where does my help come? It comes from the Lord. And so I hope you can be encouraged by that today and be reminded of that as we enter this final week of April that God is our helper. God is the one to whom we should look. So I'm going to sing a song here. It's called I Lift My Eyes Up. It's really just taken right from Psalm 121. This is one that uh, back in college at Cal Lutheran, we did a, an evening, Wednesday evening worship service called Common Ground that I used to play guitar for. And this was a song we did there. This is where I learned it, and I always loved it. Super simple, drawn straight from Scripture, um, but it's really a powerful song. I hope it helps to reinforce this psalm today. So spend some time reflecting on Psalm 121, and then I hope that this song can uh, add to your um, appreciation for that psalm and your encouragement by it. So here we go. my eyes up up to the mountains where does my help come from my help comes from you maker of heaven creator to the mountain 
friends i hope you're encouraged by that word and just keep lifting up your eyes to the lord and know that he is your helper he will never slumber nor sleep he will not let your foot be moved he is the one who holds you firmly in his hand so cling to him trust him he'll not only get you through this week but he will get us through this crisis so god bless you see you tomorrow